All right, for the sake of Goku bugging me every three seconds, we're going to just go ahead and start off in the Makio Star Saga, which is basically Garlic Jr. And you guys probably noticed that I sound a little bit better or different because I just got a new mic. Finally. Oh, uh, it's been a long overdue upgrade. So I finally gonna I'm finally gonna sound clear I'm gonna finally sound crisp but I don't know like the best settings for my mic currently so it might take me a little while to adjust but I think the settings I have on now are pretty good it might sound a little similar to my old mic but trust me it's an upgrade let's go ahead and start off this garlic junior saga all right we are now Gohan. Um, I feel like this is going to be a very short saga because uh, the movie was pretty short, I think. And I think there's probably only like three fights in this whole saga. So I apologize in advance if this video is mad short. Having long ago been imprisoned by Goku within the dead zone, the sinister Garlic Jr. has managed to escape. Now, as his first act of revenge, he has invaded Kami's lookout and taken the Earth's guardian captive. With Kami out of the way, Garlic Jr. has released his Black Water Mist, a vapor which turns humans into monsters. Meanwhile, as Gohan and his friends enjoyed a happy reunion at Master Roshi's Island, they were trying to whoop their ass. <laughs> Transformed by the Blackwater Mist, Master Roshi and Yamcha suddenly attack the others. Well, Yamcha's weak, so it don't matter. Why? Don't hurt them, Gohan. Somebody's making them do this. Garlic Jr. Alright, first fight. It's my boy Yamcha. But you already know. I chose Piccolo first. Where'd he go? I chose Piccolo first because he's really OP. All right, y'all, just prepare to die. Feels so good to, whoa, have a new mic. The only problem that I have with this mic is that it's a condenser mic, so it like picks up even the quietest of noises sometimes. But I mean, with uh, certain mic filters and stuff like that on OBS, you should be fine. But I love it though. I'm not mad at my purchase at all. Why does Piccolo not have an extra rush? Oh, well, that ruined it. Come on, Yamcha. You know you can't handle me. Then we have Master Roshi next, but he's so bad in this game. It's not even going to matter. There we go. Easy. Aw, oh, he caught me way off guard with that. He instantly came in trying to do that rush attack. But yeah, regular Earthling characters like Master Roshi, Yajirobe, and Hercule, they all can't even fly. So it really limits them on what they can do in this game. But fortunately, they are buffed in the next installment, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. They are buffed, but in this game, they are really bad. Come on now, Master Roshi, we're in the air, your weakness in this game. And die. Oh, so close. There we go. Nope, didn't save you, old man. Knowing that these monsters were innocent human beings, the sea fighters were reluctant to harm them. Unable to defend himself, Piccolo succumbed to his attackers just as Gohan and the others arrived on the sea. All right, we are now Gohan again. You already know. I forgot how this um, saga went. I didn't really watch the movie that much. I only watched like three minutes of it. Ooh, we're on Kami's lookout now. Okay. And possessed Piccolo, I assume. 
Yep, that's definitely possessed Piccolo. Piccolo too? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? If you won't fight, I'll crush you. Bring it on, Garlic Jr. Coward. All right. We are now Kid. Oh, that was sick. I didn't know Kid Gohan does that. Yo, that is fire, bro. All right. Piccolo is actually kind of difficult. Oh, I forgot he had that grab where he extends his arm. And I just used him, too. That's the funny thing. And we can't clash light grenade, which sucks. But oh well. Goodbye, Piccolo. No. Ooh, he tried that. No, there's probably some really broken tech with that that I don't even know about. Whoa. Man, Gohan's damage is just so bad for no reason, man. And then Piccolo does a crap ton of damage, so doesn't make this any better. And then he has eternal life, like one of the items, because his health is regening slowly. Not cool, bro. Hard difficulty is brutal. Alright, Krillin. It's time to put in the work. I need you to just destroy Piccolo for what he's done to Gohan. Damn, Piccolo's fast. Goodbye. And then finish you off. Ooh! You thought. You really thought, Piccolo. Well, Gohan's down. Damn, it's just one of those cutscenes again where there's no dialogue. Well, I guess not. And Piccolo's like, yeet, I wasn't even possessed. <laughs> Sorry, Garlic Jr., but I'll be taking this now. See? Y you got your ass, homie. Piccolo, or wow, I called him Piccolo. <laughs> I meant to say Mr. Popo was stuck. Safely returned to his lookout. Kami used the sacred water to reverse the effects of the black water mist. Yeah, I'll get you for this. God, Krillin, do it. Do it. Right. Yeah. Ready? All right, pick. Wow, bro. See, I'm telling you, I'm not ready for commentary most of the time. I almost called Garlic Jr. Piccolo like I'm fighting him. And it seems like every freaking opponent in uh, hard difficulty has eternal life because they keep on health or, you know, regenerating health. Doesn't matter though because Piccolo's damage is insane. Like, look at that damage. Oh no. <laughs> that dude really tracked me down. And the damage on that rush attack is insane too. As soon as I go full power, I'm killing this man. I'm kind of scared to rush him, though. Because he has... Yeah, exactly. Might get killed here. Or not. Ah, oh, dang it. That's a unique grab from Garlic Jr. Alright, prepare to die, buddy. As long as you don't vanish. Oh, God. Oh, how did that work? Yo. I was, like... I don't even know, but I was for sure that I was going to get clapped, but I guess not. There we go. Goodbye, Garlic Jr. Everybody's down but Gohan. Despite their most desperate efforts, the attacks Wait, we don't even get to fight Garlic Jr. in his final form in this game? What kind of whack shit is this? Garlic Jr. attempted to seal his enemies inside the dead zone. Gohan, they're in the sky! Blast it! On Piccolo's command, Gohan fired a mighty blast aimed at the Makio star. 
The source of his power destroyed. Garlic Jr.'s fearsome strength drained from his body, and he was pulled into the dead zone. Oh, rip Garlic Jr. Thus, Garlic Jr. was vanquished. The Z Fighters had once again saved the Earth. Piccolo couldn't help but feel proud that Gohan had grown into a true hero, just like his father. What you mean, bro? Piccolo is his father.